Angry couple try to get teen cashier fired after he pays for officer's brownie. They say no good deed goes unpunished and an 18-year-old named Zach Randolph can certainly attest to that statement. The Texas teenager was suspended from his job at a cookie store back in 2017 after a customer became upset that he bought a brownie for a police officer. Zach, the young Great American Cookies employee, paid for the officer's order out of his own wages, only $2.75. A family that was in the store at the time witnessed the event and complained to upper management. That's when Zach was put on temporary leave. The family's complaint was that Zach was racist and didn't offer to pay for their cookies as well. They even threatened to get him fired. Once Zach's mom found out about the incident she shared a Facebook post about the shocking situation, since been removed, that's when it gained national attention. Her post read. Since when does buying a police officer a cookie give anyone else a reason to attack someone? And when did a corporation want to fire someone for being kind, taking what a customer said or did, regardless of how hateful they are? The warning, says, he bought a cookie for a police officer and a customer wanted to physically fight him, it does state if this happens again he will be terminated. The teen said it was just normal shift at the Katie Mills Mall when a police officer who works at the mall ordered the $2.75 brownie. Zach has an admiration and respect for those that protect his community. He thought it would a kind gesture to purchase the sweet treat for the police officer. He's just a really nice guy and on top of that he has a badge. That's enough for me to buy him something. That's the least I can do, Zach told FOX26. A lot of people I know my age don't support police officers. I don't think it's fair. The family next in line overheard what happened and approached Zach asking for free cookies too. When Zach declined, they became furious. They were asking if I was going to buy them a cookie. And I told them both, no. They don't have a badge. I'm sorry, Zach explained to Click2 Houston. That's when things escalated quickly. A middle-aged man became irate and started to threaten the young cookie store employee. Tammy Kurtz Randolph, Zach's mom, added to her Facebook post stating. This customer started verbally attacking him, calling my son a racist, and threatened to beat him up. His wife threatened to go back there and slap him. The middle-aged man sat down his little daughter and tried to come behind the counter to attack him. Thankfully his co-worker defused the situation. The man then said, I will get you fired. At this point, Zach removed himself from the situation and went in the back room, letting his co-workers defuse the situation. The following day is when Zach was told he should be fired, according to upper management. However, his manager decided to simply suspend him for a week instead. Of course, due to Tammy's Facebook post circulating the internet, this wasn't going to be good enough. Due to the massive attention that the incident was gaining, the Great American Cookies corporate office caught wind and issued a statement. Baija George, owner of the Great American Cookies at Katie Mills Mall spoke with the Houston Chronicle and said. On behalf of Great American Cookies Katie Mills, we owe the employee an apology. It was never an issue that he purchased a brownie for a police officer, but rather the events that unfolded with another customer in line at the time. However, after further review, we realized that the employee was in fact in the right and we continue to reach out to him and his mom to issue an apology. The corrective action and suspension was reversed immediately and we hope to connect with him today. Not only did the owner of this particular franchise issue a statement of apology, so did the main office. In addition to getting his job back, Zach was also paid for the time he missed work. Plus, the local police department wanted to meet and commend Zach for his kindness and compassion to those that serve the community. Watch an interview with Zach in the video below to hear more about his decision to do what he did that day. Please share this with your friends and family.